In their letter to Federica Mogherini, Martin Horwood and Caroline Voden said the de-escalatory move to release the tanker represents a welcome step in easing tensions in the Persian Gulf and is in accordance with EU law. I was quite struck when this issue came up uh, that comment in Gibraltar was not being matched by any kind of statement from the European Union itself. Now, um, that was noticed in Gibraltar. I think it was... Um, something that people were con potentially concerned about. So I think it would be very helpful if the high representative, um, Ms. Mogherini, uh, made very clear that Gibraltar had done the right thing and that it had enforced EU law and that therefore it has the European Union's support. The MEPs highlighted that a US warrant to seize the ship for breaching its own sanctions against Iran, which the EU doesn't recognise, was resisted and say they hope the EU agrees these steps would have been right, whichever member state had taken them. Mr Horwood and Ms Voden said the EU must show it's united in its support for the Iran nuclear deal and is firmly opposed to what it calls the US's hawkish rhetoric towards Iran. In a statement, Martin Horwood, who has also been appointed to the European Parliament's delegation to Iran, said Gibraltar's decision reflected the strength of its position as part of the European Union. I can't tell if it's political, but obviously there is that suspicion. Um, the position of Gibraltar in relation to Spain, and particularly with Brexit potentially looming, it's obviously a sensitive area for the Commission. But I think they need to respect the fact that within a member state, an action has been taken which, first of all, enforced EU sanctions against Syria, then respected the EU position on sanctions against Iran and resisted American pressure. Um, and that's something that I think merits comment and I think it's time that uh, the Commission broke its silence. The Lib Dem MEP say Gibraltar has acted in accordance with EU law by releasing the tanker, adding it's hard to imagine a small territory standing up to the US in this way without the full support of the EU.